Uh, hello. Um, this time I'm going to explain um, section 5.1 homework problems from the pre-curriculus. The topic is the uh, composition of two functions. Okay, so let's begin. So first problem is uh, evaluate each expression using the values given in the table. This is a problem number nine in section 5.1. So first question is the part A, which is f of g of 1. By definition, this is same thing as f of g of 1. Now g is of 1. When x is equal to 1, g of x is equal to 0, according to the table. So this is same thing as f of 0. And Again, looking at the table, when x is 0, f of x is equal to negative 1. So the answer is negative 1. Now, let's do it similarly for part b. So f of g of negative 1 is the same thing as f of g of negative 1. Looking at the table, so when input is negative 1, the g of x is equal to zero again. So oh, it's gonna be the same answer. So f of zero is negative one. Oops, sorry. So this is again, it's gonna be negative one. Now, Okay, so part C is um, G of F of negative one. So part C and B kind of indicate the composition of two functions is not commutative, which means that if the order is changed, the answer is different. So it's gonna be G of F of negative one. Now, first of all, look at the X. When X is negative one, f of x is equal to negative 2, according to the table. So it's going to be g of negative 2. Now, again, uh, when x is negative 2, g of x is equal to 3. So the answer is 3. So likewise, you can just solve the others, like that, like, like this. OK, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, now looking at the um, uh, graph instead of the table, and we are going to answer similarly. So this is problem number 11. So first question is g of f of negative one, which is same thing as g of f of negative one. So when x is negative one, what is f of x is? So looking at the graph of f, which is uh, this V-shaped picture, and when x is negative one, when x is negative one, looking at this point, uh, y is equal to zero. So this is same thing as g of zero. Now looking at the fun graph of the gx, so when input is zero, output is seven. So the answer will be seven. Likewise, let's do it b, which is g of f of zero, which is g of f of zero. And f of zero, looking at the function fx, and when input is zero, output seems to be negative one. Now you plug in negative one into the function of z. So here's negative one, five. So when input is negative one, output of g would be five. So it's gonna be five. So likewise, we can do a c and d like this like this. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next question. So next problem is, um, it's not a table, it's not a graph, but it's a mathematical expression. And we are going to find the value of evaluating the value of the composite of two functions. 
So part A, what is f of g of four? Now f of x is defined to be two square root of x. Gx is defined to be three x. The composition is defined as this. And what is g of four? So when x is four, when x is four, gx is equal to 12. Now you plug in 12 into the fx, so it's gonna be two times square root of 12, which can be simplified to four times square root of three. Okay, so it's gonna be four times square root of three. So four square root of square root of three. Okay, likewise, let's do part B, which is g of f of two which is g of f of two. So when x is two, f of x is equal to two square root of two. Plug in this one into g of x, which is input is multiplied by three. So it's gonna be three times two square root of two, which is six square root of two. Okay, so it's gonna be six square root of six. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, six square root of two. Okay, likewise, we can do the others similarly. Um, so just like this. Okay, move on to the next question. Number 19. So it's again, it's a similar question, but a bit more complicated expression, but the idea is the same. So let's say f of x is equal to, this is number 19. f of x is absolute value of x, whereas g of x is a rational expression, 9 over x squared plus 3. So part a, f of g of 4 is equal to f of g of 4, which is f of 9 over 4 squared plus 3, which is mm, 19. So it's going to be absolute value of 9 over 19, which is hmm, 9 over 19. Now g of f of 2, g of f of 2, which is g of absolute value of 2, which is 2. And g of 2 is going to be 9 over 4 plus 3, which is 7. Okay, so let's see the answers. So first one is nine over 19. And the second one is nine over seven. Okay, let's just keep doing it in that same way. So like this way, so C is equal to one and B is equal to three fourths. Okay, move on to number five, 25, which is about the domain. Uh, find the function and find the domain. Okay, so let's say this is number 25. So let's say f of x is equal to 8x plus 3 and gx is equal to x squared. Now part A is f of g of x, which is f of gx, now input gx is equal to x square. So you're gonna plug in x square for the input for f. So it's gonna be eight times input plus three. Okay, so that's it. Now domain of the composition is actually, composition of two polynomials is strict domain is all real numbers. It's all real numbers. Okay, part B. Um, g of f of x. So it's going to be g of fx, which is input squared. Now, domain is already at numbers again. So it's going to be like this for the first one. Now, domain is already at numbers. G of f of x is 8x plus 3 square. You don't need to expand it. Oh, wait. Do we have to expand it? What was it? Hmm. 
Um, the program doesn't say we had to expand it, but let's expand this one because because Pearson seems not liking the factored form for some reason. So it's gonna be like this. Terrible. Now domain is all real numbers. Again, it's a for composition of polynomials, domain is every real number. Okay, next is f, f. We just do it similarly. f of f of x is equal to f of 8x plus three, which is eight times input plus three, which is 64x plus 27. Okay, now domain for composition of two polynomials is through all real numbers. Nothing to worry about the domain. Finally, the composition of g of x with g of x, which is g of x squared. So it's going to be input squared. So it is x to the power of fourth. Mm, x to the power of fourth. Now the domain is again all real numbers. Okay, now this is a harder one. So number 29. So now you have a two rational functions. Part A. So composition of two functions, which are all uh, rational. So it's gonna be f of gx. Gx is one over x. So f of whatever is 2 over input minus 9. Multiply top and bottom of the fraction by x. Right, Multiply top and bottom by x. Distribute, you're going to get 2x over 1 minus 9x. Now, domain is basically um, any real number that can be put into GX. So anything is okay except zero. And also this fraction itself cannot become zero. The de denominator cannot become zero. So X cannot be equal to one over nine as well. Okay, so it's gonna be 2x over 1 minus 9x. And domain is um, x is less than 0 or 0 through 1 over 9 or greater than 1 over 9. Oh, didn't work. Hmm. Type an inequality. Hmm. I'm not sure how to write down the answer. Um, let me see. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just looking at the example and the answer is written in not equal to, so I'm gonna follow that manner. So I'm gonna change this writing by x not equal to nine, one over nine and x not equal to zero. So not equal to zero. How do I write down not equal to? I'm gonna just, Press this one, not equal, ah, okay. Okay, so that's x is not equal to zero, x not equal to one over nine. Okay, good. Okay, part B. So g of f of x, which is g of fx, which is two over x minus nine. Clearly x cannot be equal to nine. Now, input plugging into the function of g, so it's gonna be one over 
whatever the input is. Now you multiply top and bottom by x over x minus nine. Okay, so the answer would be x minus nine over two. You just take a reciprocal. Okay, so any number is okay except nine in this case. Yeah, so the answer would be x minus nine over two. Domain is anything is okay, but x is not equal to nine. So part C similarly, so f of f of x. So it's gonna be f of fx, which is two over input minus nine. Multiply top and bottom by x minus nine, you're gonna get two times x minus nine on the top, two minus nine times x minus nine on the bottom. So that's reduced to uh, negative nine x plus 83. So clearly x cannot be equal to nine, but also this cannot be equal to zero, which means this cannot be equal to zero which means this cannot be equal to zero. So X cannot be equal to 83 over nine as well. So the answer is hmm, two X minus nine over, hmm, I should say, I should write down two X minus 18 maybe over minus nine X plus 83. Okay, and the domain is anything is okay except x is not equal to 9 and x is not equal to 83 over 9. Well, finally, g of x. Well, after you do the computation, it's going to be just x for any x except 0. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that's complete explanation for homework section 5.1. Thank you for listening to <laughs> this kind of bit messy lecture. <laughs>